Welcome back to another episode of the Arc Switch Survival Guide. Today we are going to teach you how to use this adorable little otter to hunt fish and gather silica pearls and black pearls from all the fish she hunts. We're also going to teach you a couple interesting little tricks that you can use for an otter and give you some tips and advice on how to raise your otter properly. And uh, we're also going to find out if my cute little otter makes it out of this episode alive because because uh, hunting fish can be pretty dangerous when you're such a tiny little animal. So be sure to watch the rest of this episode and find out how that ends up. So here we are right outside of the floating fortress. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do when I'm hunting fish with an otter is to scout the area with a pteranodon and see what kind of fish we've got around. We've got a couple of piranhas down there, so I'm going to be real careful about those. And uh, we're also going to survey the landscape and just check around and looking for anything dangerous around here. Because uh, otters are very small animals and they're really low health, so it's really easy for them to die. And we want to make sure that we find a very safe spot spot before we actually start hunting with our otter. When an otter goes into the water, everything like piranhas, sharks, anything like that is going to start coming after it. And even though we're in full suit of armor, the otter doesn't have very much armor at all. And it's just kind of a sitting duck for things like piranhas in this river. So we've got quite a few piranhas around. And before I let that otter off my shoulders, I'm going to just start shooting down all the piranhas that I can get. And the best way to kill piranhas is to stand right on the shore, dip your toe in the water so that they catch a whiff of you and start coming after you, and then just pop right back out and shoot at them from outside the water. So I'll double tap X to drop my otter on the ground, and I've already set up an ordering group and selected it with just the otter in it. So he is the only one listening to my whistle commands right now. I'll drop a link in the description on how to do that. So uh, we're going to find a coelacanth and then hold the left bumper and hit up on the D-pad to whistle for our otter to attack our target. And and coelacanths are a great thing to use for gathering pearls because they don't actually fight back. You can just harvest them and it's no danger to your otter. Now you can harvest piranhas and saber tooth salmon and all that stuff, but uh, they might kill your otter in the process. So when she's got a pearl, she'll come up and st Step up like that, hold the pearl in the air, and I'm also going to add some health to her stats because she's going to need a lot of health to make sure she can stay alive while fishing. I've killed off all the piranhas that I can find, but if one of them catches wind of her, it will start attacking her, so do keep that in mind. Now uh, I'm just going to keep whistling to attack all of the targets here and just knock down all the coelacanths I can. Now I'm sure other fish like saber tooth salmon probably give you more pearls but uh, until our otter is higher level and has a bigger health bar, I'm actually just going to stick to these coelacanths because I just don't think she can handle a big salmon. Also, if you've spent much time with saber tooth salmon, you know that if you attack one of them, the entire school, all the salmons around, will start attacking you, and they can even kill your character, let alone your otter. So let's see what she's got here. Oh, nice. Now, when she glows purple like that, that means she has black pearls, which are much more rare. You'll get a lot more silica pearls than black pearls, but uh, be sure to save all those black pearls. You will be using them much later in the game. They're for uh, much higher tier recipes and things, but uh, that'll be really helpful. Now, there are other ways to get silica pearls in much greater quantities, but with the otter, it is about the fastest way to gather pearls with without ever having to go into any dangerous areas. So you can stay in a completely safe spot and just do some fishing and get all the pearls you need. It just takes a little longer than other methods. And it looks like the piranhas are back. Great. So <laughs> go ahead and shoot those down. That's another good reason to pick up your otter and have it right on your shoulders, because then the piranhas attack you and not the otter. And uh, that way your otter doesn't die while you're swimming around. It's a lot harder to control your otter if it's uh, off your shoulders. So another cool thing about otters is they will automatically loot killed fish that are nearby. So if you just toss it off your shoulder like that, then by default she'll grab all the meat from from those fish. But be sure to note, if you are the one that kills the fish, you do not get the pearls from it. The otter has to actually do the killing in order to get the pearls. Now I'm not entirely sure if they will loot sharks for you, but uh, you know, 
might be worth trying out later on once I've found some really good safe areas. So I'm going to keep hunting fish here, and uh, oh boy, okay, we've got a piranha coming after us, and oh man, she's fighting the piranha, okay, let me see if I can get her out of here, and I told her to follow, and she is not following, and I'm trying to shoot that thing, but uh, I'm worried that that might actually hit her, so plan B, let's get her out of the water as fast as possible, she's a pretty fast swimmer, and I'm hoping she can outrun that piranha, oh gosh, please don't die on me, please don't die. Whew, okay, I thought we were going to lose our otter on our guide for how to fish with otters. That was really close. Now, uh, let me finish off this piranha before our otter gets any ideas. And, uh, yeah, every time I've seen somebody do a guide on how to fish with otters, they always have their otter die. It's really sad. So be very careful with your otters. Yikes, she got down to about 15 health. That was really close. So I think if we had not bumped up her health stat, she would have actually died right there. That was pretty rough. So, yeah, definitely give your otter a bunch of health until she's got at least a couple hundred health. And uh, another really cool thing you can do with otters, uh, I showed you this in another episode, but just to recap, an otter can actually wear a helmet. Now, I like to put a flak helmet on it because, as you can see here, she has zero armor by default. But when you put a flak helmet on, that gives her 100 armor, which is more armor than my character has had for most of the game. So she should be able to stand up much better against nasty things like piranhas and salmons. And uh, it's just a really good safety precaution to do. Now you can also put something like a miner's helmet on her, which makes her basically an onboard flashlight, which is kind of cool. Or if you want to be cute, you can give her glasses and make her hairy otter. That's always fun. But uh, yeah, that one's a little bit overused these days. So another cool thing about an otter is you can wear it like a scarf and it increases your resistance to heat and cold dramatically. And it makes you about as cold resistant as most of a suit of fur armor. So it's really helpful. But it keeps you hot because it's fuzzy and warm and it keeps you cool because it's nice and wet. So, uh, you know, otters are very nice. It's like a little portable air conditioning system. Now, once she has enough health to survive, I'm going to put all of her stats into melee damage because that increases the speed she kills fish, but it also increases her heat and cold protection when we wear her. So I hope this episode was helpful for you, and if it was, please like this video and share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe because once we hit 900 subscribers, we will do a Bob Ross painting on the side of a brontosaur, which I am working on right now because we are just about to hit 900, so you could be the one that pushes it over the edge. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. Ark is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There is a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.